There are seven ways how I will improve my English. I can do it. I, I also can do it. I'm glad to see you here on my channel. I'm Daria and this channel is Legend Daria. And this channel is about uh, learning languages. Currently I'm learning English, speaking English. And it's about traveling because I'm in another country and about lifestyle. In this video I will talk about my experience of uh, learning uh, speaking English. My weakest part is speaking and I made myself a challenge for 90 days I will study English and I will not skip a day. I will post my results here on YouTube and on my Instagram and for me it's a serious statement I will not skip a day obviously for this 90 days, this is the point. It's a big step forward and I'm getting closer to my goal. And now let's talk about English. There are seven ways how I will improve my English. I have a study book, Cutting Edge for Upper Intermediate. I left a link on this book in the description. What I do in this book? I do exercises obviously, I read all the exercises out loud. And for example, there is an exercise where you should ask your partner some questions. So I am my partner and I ask this question myself. What situation make you feel competitive? I think uh, when I see a successful person and uh, this person um, has the results. I will read the, the question out loud and then I answer them also out loud. I spent maybe 20 minutes to talk out loud. It's my speaking practice. I try to use uh, the words which I learned before, the new words, or maybe I knew uh, these words, but I just don't use it in my speech. And uh, in this conversational practice, I try to use uh, new and forgotten words and I think it will help me a lot. And of course you do exercises, do other exercises, you uh, write out uh, the new words and uh, you uh, should get back to them and uh, repeat them. The more you repeat them, the more words you remember. The second part. The second part, I talk you. As I want to improve my speaking part, I have to speak with native speakers and I decided to try italki. I already had free lessons with native uh, speakers and uh, the first lesson was the uh, difficult one because I had to speak for the whole hour. I didn't do it before and by the end of the lesson I felt that I tired and confused uh, words I forget a lot of words and uh, it was uh, a difficult and interesting experience. I adore coffee. I uh, used to drink uh, coffee one time a day for two or three years and uh, yeah. and also if you're interested in studying uh, with a teacher you can follow my link. I left it in the description box and uh, you will get ten dollars. Uh, ten italki dollars. It means that you can spend ten dollars on your future lessons. I have already had free lessons and I think I will uh, um, make appointments two times a week and uh, speak uh, with native uh, speakers. So I took a free course uh, by Pixar about storytelling. Also I left the link in the description box if you would like to learn about storytelling. It's free. It's interesting because you listen to people who work in Pixar and you learn how they create their characters and um, also you pay attention to characters wants and needs. You think about the external and internal uh, features of the characters. Leading to choices they have to make and the arc they follow. Each choice a character makes has potential risks, impacts, and rewards involved with it. The videos in this course are short 
and you may turn on the subtitles and it's quite cool because you can pause the video and uh, search for a new word after watching the video you will get an exercise and also as in cutting edge i try to do the exercises out loud so so i uh, see the question and i just answer to myself out loud uh, the question the fourth I read every day a book in English. For now, I read Big Magic, uh, Creatively Be Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. Maybe you heard about this author. She wrote it, Pray Love, and also there is a movie uh, based on this film. The book is about creativity. She tells her story as a creator. One of the main ideas, you shouldn't wait for anyone's approval. Just go and do it. I read the book every day. I often do it before I go to sleep. I read this book in my mobile phone and I... Uh, wow. I saw the plane is uh, like it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I spend maybe 20 or more minutes to read every day and I set myself a minimum of pages which I should read. It's 30 small pages per day. So I also left a link to this book. I decided to create a profile on YouTube and on Instagram and it means that I will write a lot. I have already written two posts on my Instagram and for example the text for this video I wrote about uh, one hour and a half and now I understand that it's super important to write when you want to improve your speaking skills because when you write you can see uh, your mistakes and um, I bold my mistakes in the text and I try to remember them correctly. I watch videos on YouTube. Now I'm into blogging and I'm digging information related to this topic. What information and what resources and what kind. And as I want to learn about uh, making videos, about uh, tips and tricks, I absorb your information. For example, I don't know the word. I pause the video and I'm searching for the meaning of this word. And in the next video, more likely I will remember this word because I'm interested in this topic. I'm the person who is interested in knowing the meaning of the word because I want to know more about uh, this information. You shouldn't watch the videos you are not interested in because you will not remember a lot of words. The main idea, watch videos you are interested in. So, reading articles. I'm not only watching videos about blogging, making videos, um, taking pictures, I also read this information in the internet. I go to Google and type what I want to learn about and then I just read. I read a lot of articles, so it also helps me to enrich my vocabulary. These were my seven ways of learning English. Please tell me what helps you to learn a new language. And by the way, when I will edit this video, I will cut my pauses. And the main goal for me in learning language is to reduce the uh, amount of these uh, pauses. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Uh, I'm glad to see you here and bye.